I'm Kristen Matthews with The Pilates Fix and welcome to day two of the Holiday Fix Challenge. Today's workout is going to be a strong and sexy arms and back one. If you didn't do yesterday's, it doesn't really matter, I'm not going in any particular order. It was a beginner one, so if you are really new and you want to learn some basics, you'll want to do that at some point. But um, not a big deal if you haven't done it, do it whenever you can. Um, today we're going to use, if you have two, three, or five pound weights, if you don't have them, which I actually don't because they're at the studio that I work at, um, I'm, I just grabbed some cans. You can use water bottles and you can just use nothing. We're working really small muscles so you're going to feel a burn anyway. And we're only going to use them for the first half of the workout, the second half we're not going to need them. So grab them, get them near you, and let's get started. So we just need one of the weights or cans for now. So just put the other one to the side. And then I'm gonna stand to the side so you can see me. You'll bring your left foot forward and your right leg back, either on the ball of your foot, this is a little more of a balance challenge, or your foot turned out and you push your leg down, your foot down pushing into the outside of that foot, okay? You wanna stay squared, find the long line from the crown of your head to your heel. You grab the weight, which I'm gonna call my can the weight, into the right hand, left hip on your thigh, find that length, the hand starts down, shoulders are back, and you'll just start to bend and straighten for eight. Point in the back, seven, six, and just make sure you're breathing, five, four, find that length, three, the whole time, two, and one. So for the second set of eight, you can lift and lower that leg the whole time, Six more, or you can keep the foot down. Five, this obviously is challenging you more. Four, three, two, and one. Now, foot stays down, bend your elbows, square your shoulders, stretch and bend that arm for eight, seven, two sets of eight here, six, five, abs in to support the back, three, two, and one, again, eight, seven, six, Five, four, so while we're working the arm, your whole body really works. Two, and one, hold here, pulse up. Two, three, shoulder square. Five, six, and on your back. Eight more, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, pulse in. Two, three, four, five, nice pace here. Again, four, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, and one. Pulse up and in, up and in, up, in. For four, we'll just do eight of these. Three, two, one. Last thing, a little micro bend and straighten. Two sets of eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Definitely burning a little now. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two and one and lower that down and then we're going to go to the other side so you bring the left foot back the right knee bends hold the weight in your left hand right hand on the thigh you square yourself off and you bend and straighten bend and straighten three four five really fine length from the head to the heel six seven and eight, now if you wanna add that leg lift, one. You can do that or keep it down, three, four. Obviously this is gonna challenge your balance. And hold there. Now, bend that elbow, hold it back, find that leg, and you straighten and bend, eight. Seven, we'll do two sets of eight. Six, five, four, my beans are sloshing around, two, and one, again, eight, seven, six, five, find that length, four, three, two, one, now arms up and you pulse, two, three, four, five, six, seven, again, four, eight, seven, six, find that length, shoulders back, arm stays up and you pulse, in, three, four, five, six, Everything square again. Eight. Arms up high. Five, six, seven. Now put them together. Up and in. Up and in. Good. So you're really focusing on the back of the arm here. Four. In. Three. Two. Of course, your legs work a little one. Now a little micro bend and straighten. Two. 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, and come all the way up. Now you'll grab the other hand, wait, you'll stand with your legs about inner hip width apart, your arms out to the side with your palms facing down, you're nice and long. You'll rotate the palms up, elbows come in towards your waist and out, in and out. Do two sets of eight. That was three, four, five, six, seven, eight more, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now, arms down by your side. You'll soften your knees, sit back in your heels. The hands go right in front of the thighs. Make sure, I'm gonna to come to the side so you can see something for a second. You're not going into an arch. You're not round too much. You have kind of like a nice neutral spine. From here, you're just gonna lift the arms out to the side and in. Out and in. Come to the front so you can see this direction also. A little softening of the elbows. Four, three, we're gonna do eight more after this. Two, one, eight more, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, and come all the way to stand. So now just put your weights to the side, we are done with them, and work your way down onto your mat, onto your stomach. Those were my knees that cracked if you heard them. <laughs> And then you get yourself on your mat with your legs. If you can, I want them together. If that feels funny in your back or your hips, you separate them. But together would be ideal. Arms out into a T position. You want to think of a grape under your belly button so that you get your tailbone long, your abs are working. You find length in your spine. From here, lift your arms and your head and your chest up. You can even lift your legs if you want and bring your pinky fingers back to your hips. Maybe you lift a little higher. Still keeping that little grip there. Arms out to the side. Lower down everything. Again, lift. Legs don't have to lift, but if you want, lift them. It'll work your back a little more. Open your chest. Arms out. Lower down. Two more. Lift. Reach back. Find that length. Working the back now. Reach out and down. One more. Reach and then go back, open that chest. You want to do a little stretch. You can clasp your thumbs, pull your heart forward. It just feels nice for the shoulders. Let go of the thumbs, up to the side, lower everything down. From here, prop up onto your forearms. Take one fist inside the other one, and then curl your toes under. Tuck that tailbone, press into the forearms, use those abs, Legs are nice and strong and long, and boop, pop up for a forearm plank. Pull those abs in. From here, I just want you to lift your butt. You're gonna go into what they call dolphin yoga. Just do a nice stretch, and then come back into the plank. Nice long line, tailbones long. Lift your butt, push into the forearms. You're definitely working your body, but it's also a nice stretch for your shoulders and back and strengthening at the same time, which is awesome. You lift up, you reach back, push those thighs back, you can push those heels down maybe a little, but shift for the lift. One more time, lift up, reach back, nice little stretch, but don't be tricked, you're working, and come forward all the way. Great, now let's come down onto your stomach, Sit back onto your heels just for a moment for a stretch for that low back. And then round yourself up. Come down onto your bottom with your knees bent, hip width apart. Do some tricep dips here. Your hands a little wider than your hips, shoulders on your back. You press strong into the feet, strong into those hands. You use those abs and your arms and your butt and you lift up till your arms are straight. First, we'll keep your feet down. You're just gonna bend the elbows down and lift down. Now keep going. If that hurts you, you can make fists with your hands, right? So down and up, down and up. Just 
Wrist up, I know it can be funky for people. Four more, and up. Three, up, two, up, one. Hold it up there. Now, stretch your right leg. If you can, up to the sky, we'll do the same thing. You can always keep both your feet down if you need to. Two, three, four, five, eight of these, and we'll switch legs. Six, seven, elbows back. Eight, foot down. Lift that other foot up, bend and straighten. Two, up, three, up, four, five, six, seven, eight. Place that foot down. One last little stretch. Open your heart, lift your hips up. Hold those abs in, tailbone long. And then lower yourself all the way down. All right, so bring your wrists forward and just roll them out. Get a little stretch, reach your arms up. You can bend one elbow to stretch that arm. Reach those arms up, switch to the other arm, and reach up. Cross one arm in front. It's just good to stretch after we do some isolating arm work. Other arm stretches over. And release that. And you're all done with day two. Woo! I know it's hard, especially on Monday after a long week, but give yourself a nice pat on the back for joining today. You've now gotten your second workout in. Um, tomorrow's workout is going to be a Pilates killer ab workout. So definitely get excited for that one. It'll be a nice quick workout tomorrow. Um, please share this with people. I definitely want to get as many people involved as, involved as possible. Subscribe to our channel so you can keep up to date with their uploads. And comment, let us know if you have any questions or if there's, um, yeah, anything we can help you with. So I look forward to seeing you tomorrow on the Holiday Fix Challenge. I'm Kristen Matthews. Bye.